first of all, shout out to all the self-made geek squad, electric techs, computer tech, phone tech, all the techs. Because without y'all, <laughs> your girl was not making a video today. Mm. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, P. Hope, and I am back with another video. But I almost wasn't back with another video because, y'all, I cut the camera on and it started talking about some cards right protect switch is set to lock. I've never had that signal pop up. I had no idea what it was. I started playing with all kind of functions on my camera and I did that for about 30 minutes. And then I felt myself getting aggravated and irritated. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Let me go to YouTube. Went to YouTube. It popped right up. It's a two minute. It's literally a two minute and one second video on how to fix it. And when I tell y'all, it gave me the answer. The man wasn't even speaking English. The video that I went to, I don't, I'm not even, I'm not even finna, um, you know, be out here lying on this man saying what language he was speaking, but it wasn't English. It was not English. So I didn't understand the word that he was saying. I was just paying attention and looking and copying everything that he did. And in a matter of about seven seconds, the problem was fixed. So you know what? First of all, Cannon, stop making stuff so difficult. That's first of all. And second of all, shout out to all the texts. Shout out to all the texts. That's all I got to say about that. Because <laughs> your girl was in here about to have a whole meltdown. Now, speaking of texts, let me jump over to what happened to me yesterday, y'all. Because I want to know y'all opinion. So, I pull up at my bank to deposit a check into my account, right? And I always go through the drive-thru part because I like the drive-thru just about anywhere that I go. Like, I don't like getting out of my car. I don't want to walk if I don't have to walk. I know a lot of y'all saying, girl, you need to be walking. But listen, I'm just being honest, okay? So, go around there. Put my, um, I put my check in the ATM and a little note comes up, a little um, notification popped up that said we're unable to process your transaction at this time. Please check back later. And then it spit my check out a little wrinkly. So their little, the roller with the, um, what rolls the check in, I guess it's something going on with that. It's, it's a little cattywampus. And so it's not, it wasn't taking the checks. So I said, cool, I don't want to, but I'll just drive around the building and I'll go around the inside of the bank. Now, mind you, it's already after hours, the bank is closed, but of course, just like most banks, if you go to the lobby of the bank, there's another ATM in the lobby of the bank. So that's what I did. I get out, I saw that it was a vehicle beside where I parked it. So I knew it was probably somebody already in there, but I'm like, okay, it ain't two or three people waiting in there. So I, let me just go on in. So I, um, I swipe my debit card and I go on in because you know, the doors are locked. The outside doors are locked unless you have um, a debit card to get into the bank. So did that and it was a young man and a young lady already at the ATM doing their thing. Now, first of all, soon as I got stepped my first foot in the lobby, um, it immediately turned into a hot box. It was a hot box and I don't mean because I stay in hot Atlanta and the weather is really, really hot and humid. Because yes, one, it is really, really hot and humid, but no, no, no. I mean, these people had a full-blown smoke fest going on in the lobby of the bank. Like, so I was immediately high as Cootie Brown when I stepped foot in the lobby of the um, bank. So, <laughs> I'm already a little irritated. I mean, it would only be right that my phone rings like when I start recording. So, just give me one minute, guys. One minute. 
my apologies so anyway like i said i'm already geeked up now that you know they just decided that they didn't want to put the blunt down you know they didn't want to leave the blunt in a vehicle they you know they wanted to keep doing what they was doing fine i'm still minding my business um so after i stand there for a little while i realized that these people are making multiple transactions. So, what's going on here is I'm in the midst of a set of scammers. We are shocked. I got to say less. Oh, say less. <laughs> this is my first up close and personal interaction with some freaking scammers. So, not only am I irritated from the smoke that is, you know, permeating the bank lobby but now i'm witnessing scamming full on full on in the flesh okay so what's happening is <laughs> the lady is standing there and she's reading off stuff and then the man has all of these different i don't know if they were debit cards cash app cards i don't know what kind of cards they were but each card had a sticky note taped to it with the information on it. I'm assuming that it was just the PIN number. But, okay, so what they were doing was insert the card in the ATM, put the PIN information in, get some money out. And then they set that card with that sticky note on the little, on the little, um, lantern uh, whatever that's called on the little counter that was right there in front of the atm so boom okay that's one do it again that's two do another one that's three y'all right hand to god while i was standing there they went through about 15 cards so at that point i realized why you bought you know why you bought your good time in the bank with you because you plan on being here for a little while y'all just should have bought some fold out chairs and sat down because we're gonna be here for a while so at this point i'm jingling my keys behind me i'm huffing and puffing i keep rubbing my stomach hoping that one of them will look back and be like oh okay this lady is pregnant you know we're doing uh <laughs> You know, we, we're doing extra extracurricular um, activities around this lady. Why don't we just let her make her transaction and then we can get back to our stuff later. Do you think they thought about that? Because they didn't. Okay? Alright? They didn't think about it. Right. May I help you? Like, do we got a problem? You looking at? Alright? They went through all about 10 or 15 of these cards and they got me high in the process and then they proceeded to leave okay so them doing all of this and then even in the midst of it the girl even said at one point oh well maybe we should give it a little rest maybe we got to give it a rest and then come back so even if i was giving y'all the benefit of the doubt when i first got in there to to say that y'all were doing something legal yeah dummy just gave y'all away okay Dummy right here just gave y'all away. So anyway, they do what they was doing. They pooch out. I know that I pressed that cancel button, you know, the big red button on the ATM machine. I know that I pressed that joker about 25 times before I stuck my card in that machine. And then I proceeded to pull on everything to make sure that it wasn't like the fake machine. Like it wasn't no way that whatever they were doing, they could get my information. I've been checking my bank account all day. I'm going to continue to keep close monitoring on it in case, you know, they wait a couple days, a couple weeks. Because, y'all, it freaked me out. That was my first up-close encounter with some scammers. And I'm like, wow, as many times as I've went through the drive through at that same bank, today, today would be the day that it doesn't take my check. The day and the time that the scammers are there. So anyway, 
I made my quick transaction. You know, I was in there once. Once I did my thing, I was standing in the lobby for, you know, no more than two minutes at the max, and then I, you know, I proceeded on with my evening. And um, so, you know, I would just say if either one of you scammers from yesterday are watching me. You could have been nice to me and just let me go and then continued on. But y'all, when I when I pushed out the bank, they were still in, in the car beside me. So I don't think they were done. I think that those 10 or 15 cards that they did while I was there, that was them giving it a break like old girl suggested. And then I think that they were going to go back in. I don't think that, I honestly don't think that they were done. So... I'm telling y'all all this to say, what would you have done? Now, I know what Jesus would do. I know what I did, but I want to know what y'all would do. So in a situation like this, where you know that people are up to illegal activities, first of all, you have illegal paraphernalia inside of the public bank. Okay, you just being rude to anybody because it was a little old man. It was a little old Caucasian man that went in immediately after me. So, I mean, of course, I walked out with a little bit of embarrassment because I'm pretty sure, you know, you always gonna think it's the last person. It's like when somebody passed gas. If you're the person that's standing there, I'm gonna think you did it. So, I'm sure when he walked in, he probably felt like, oh my God, this lady was just in here doing drugs. So... <laughs> Anyway, I already had to walk a shame just dealing with that. But I want to know how y'all would have handled that. Do you, in a situation like that, do you get their tag number? Do you call the proper authorities? Do you call the bank the next day when they open? Or do you just mind your business? Drop down in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done in that situation. Because I'm dying to know if y'all feel like I handled it correctly. Because your girl just closed her eyes. I closed my eyes. I minded my business. Listen, me and my baby just trying to make it home. I don't have time for y'all to... Because I have... I backed... They backed in. Like, they reversed in their parking spot. So, I couldn't get their tag number even if I wanted to be a snitch. But I just pulled in. So, they have my tag number if that's... You know what I'm saying? If they thought that far ahead. Like, and if they did their due diligence to look up my information, like, I thought about all that. So, in my case, I minded my business. But I want to know what y'all would have done. So, drop down in the comment section and let your girl know because, y'all, it stressed me out. I was irritated with the scammers. I was irritated with the drugs. I was irritated with the ATM on the outside of the bank. But the rest of my day went fine. The rest of my day was fine. Moving on. Now that I got my little scammer story out the way, um, I think I was telling y'all in the last video or maybe the one before that, y'all know I be having pregnancy brain, so I don't remember. But my baby registry is finally up, ready, and running. So um, I will make sure to, I'm gonna put the name of it somewhere around here in this video, probably somewhere right up in here. And then I'm also going to make sure that um, I'm going to try to get the link and put it in the description box below. So all y'all got to do is just go down in the description box, click on the link, and it should take you straight to both of my registries. I am at Target and I am at Amazon. Okay. So yeah, finally got that going in case y'all wanted to get baby boy a little gift to welcome him into the world. You know, I already told y'all that I will greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it because your girl has nothing. I have nothing in this house for an infant. So, you know, <laughs> all gifts are extremely appreciative at this point. Okay. Because we are on month number seven, and in two months, I'm going to have a whole nother human being in this house, y'all. And I don't know how to feel about it. I honestly don't know how to feel about it. But, you know, the Lord will never give me more than I can bear. So, I'm just going to make the best of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know you know what I mean. A little quick update on mommy and baby. <sighs> y'all, I... Well, okay. Some good news. The good side for me... 
Um, the swelling in my feet has been doing really, really good. I think that's because I up my intake of water to how it used to be when I first, first, first got pregnant. I used to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And, um, you know, I was thinking that the more water you drink, that would cause the more swelling. But um, I guess because these months here have been so hot and so humid that um, my body has really just been yearning for water. So, you know, I notice the more that I stay hydrated and I'm drinking water regular, regularly throughout the whole day, um, that it really, really helps with my swelling. So, my feet have been doing really well. I had a doctor's appointment last Thursday. And um, she said that all my vitals looked really, really good. I lost weight. Y'all remember the trip before that, I had gained all of that weight. And I told y'all that I was going to switch back up to my fruits and vegetables and lay off of all of the greasy foods and things like that. So, just by me switching over in the last two weeks, um, the scale has definitely shown me favor. I lost five pounds. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Excited about that. Because, y'all, I am seriously, like... I hope that this baby don't drain all the energy out of me once he is out in the world because your girl is going to definitely try to jump into her exercising and eating right as soon as it's possible. You know, I, I know I not to do too much too fast because it is a C-section. So you have to be careful with things like that. But, um, yeah, as, as soon as I possibly can, as soon as I safely can get started exercising and things like that. Y'all, I'm going to be on it because I'm getting too old. I'm getting too old and I am too big to be trying to keep up with a little bitty baby. I can't do it. I can't do it. So, um, the doctor was telling me, you know, like I said, all my vitals, my, um, my blood, my cholesterol, all my levels look really, really good. And as far as baby, um, his heartbeat is still pumping stronger than ever. He's still bouncing, growing, moving around. Let me tell y'all how y'all little friend has done cut up on me last week. I had to take a day off last week because the day before he decided that he wanted to bust a move in my belly um, in the middle of my work day. I was actually in a meeting with my boss and he decided that he wanted to go ahead and thought that he was at the um, Cirque du Soleil, if you will, um, Universal Circus. I don't know where he thought he was at, but he did a move and I broke down because he was all over here on this side and it was killing me. So everybody in the meeting was like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm cool. I promise y'all I got it. So I breathed my way through that. But then by the time I got home, he decided that he wanted to go over to the right side. And once he got over to the right side, I guess I must have the most funnest, softest bladder ever because he hung out there for quite some time and he applied pressure. So with him doing that, being pressed on my bladder, whatever position he was in, my body didn't give me the signal that our bodies usually give. Of course, you already know when you have to go to the bathroom, your body is going to give you that initial signal like, you know, hey girl, you know, you can hold it for a little second, but at some point in the next couple of minutes, minutes to an hour at tops, we're going to need to go to the bathroom. Like, we're filling up. That's what your bladder tells you. But no, no. However, this young man was on my bladder. It's like soon as I stood up, it was like, you got to go now or you're not going to make it. So if I was not three to five steps away from the bathroom, it wasn't happening. Y'all, I used the restroom on myself about six times in a day. 
had to take six showers. This all happened after work, thank God. Thank God. This all happened after I got out of work. But yeah, that night, I had to take about six showers. So, it was still happening to me that next morning. So, I just, um, I think it was probably about six or seven o'clock that morning. I called in. I told them what was going on. I, I didn't want to have no type of embarrassing moments at work. So, I'm just going to stay home. And that's what I did. So, um, I had to take a whole day off last week because y'all friend wanted to cut up in there. So he finally moved, um, and that was before my doctor's appointment. So I told her this exact same story, and um, yeah, she said that he was pretty much, you know, turning himself, positioning himself. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm like, wow, this little young man is getting himself ready really, really early. So I hope that is no sign that he's coming early. But yeah, he's already started positioning himself to um, head south before the winter. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what's going on with him. He's very much active. Very much active, okay? <sighs> so, yeah. And other than that, I would say the only bad news is stuff that I've already told y'all about, which is the heat at my job y'all know i told y'all i work in a warehouse setting i don't do necessarily like warehouse work because i sit at a desk and i'm on a computer most of the day but yeah it's still in the middle of a warehouse it's not like i have my own office or anything so in the winter time it's extremely cold and in the summertime it's extremely hot so even yesterday like my clothes were literally sticking to me as I was leaving out. It's no type of way I can do no type of overtime. Because after lunch, the warehouse just feels like an oven. Like, it literally feels like an oven. So, I struggle. I keep the fan on me, literally blowing in front of me from the time I get there to the time I leave. Because anytime that I move out from in front of that fan... I immediately am drenched with sweat. So all of this part of my clothes is wet. Um, I, For the last, the end of last week and this week, I keep forgetting to bring me some type of like a workout cloth or just a washcloth so that I can keep my face dry and hopefully keep this area of my body dry because, baby, when I tell you, my back be wet like everything everything is just like moist like it's one of those situations where you have no choice but to come straight in the door and take a cool shower in order just to calm your body down like <laughs> i mean i don't understand how these kind of conditions are legal but it's like girl if you choose to stay there if you choose to work there that's your business so, you know, I choose to stay there. I'm not going to, you know, it's it's not like I didn't know it was coming. I've been there for uh, many years now. So, it, it's like I know what to expect. But it's just a little more difficult, um, you know, when, when you're walking around for two in this kind of heat. So, yeah, I would say that that's, that's the downside for this week. <laughs> I might have a whole nother downside by next week. But yeah, that's the update for mommy and baby. Now, what else I need to talk to y'all about? Oh, oh. Guess what your girl did over the weekend? <laughs> See, I was supposed to give y'all one more video last week. And, you know, like I said, the baby had threw me off. The humidity here in Georgia had threw me off. But, you know, I do understand and I see now why people that get in a rhythm of uploading videos two to three times out the week, like they get in the habit of it and, you know, it just becomes second nature because I forgot to give y'all that one extra video last week and I feel like I have not bought y'all a video in a month. So, <laughs> 
So, um, I'm glad that I am uploading today and I'm getting this thing back going because I don't want to get behind on these vlogs and I want to stay consistent. I know y'all love, um, you know, just keeping up with the pregnancy because it's exciting, especially if it's any of you guys out there that are mommies to be with me. So, um, you know, we can go through this thing together. And of course, you know, my gang gang that's been there since day one, the P-Hope family, like you guys are so super supportive. <sighs> I just can't stop expressing in every video how much I love y'all so much. But anyway, um, what I did this weekend, your girl went tubing. Your girl went tubing. Yeah. All 300 plus pounds. All seven months of a baby floating down the Chattahoochee River. What y'all know about it? What y'all know about it? And before anybody calls me crazy saying that, you know, I'm trying to put my baby in danger or anything like that. Um, no, I did lots and lots and lots and lots of research before I even told my friends that, I mean, before I even agreed to go with my friends to do anything like that. The first thing was, of course, the concern for my baby, making sure that it was something that pregnant women can even do. That was first of all. My second concern was that nasty water. Like, I definitely don't need no type of diseases and funguses and, and all type of crazy stuff happening to me right now. So, that was my second thing. But, y'all, I did so much research that I felt extremely calm and comfortable to get out there and do it. And I'm glad I did. So, if any of y'all have noticed that I am a tinch darker than I normally am, it's just a tanger. <laughs> It's just a tan because your girl was floating down the Chattahoochee with no type of umbrella, no type of shade. I mean, I did have on a visor for a little while, but yeah, um, it's very minimal shade out there. And the tubing, you are um, literally floating downstream for four hours straight. Okay, but we had a wonderful time. We had sub sandwiches, chips, cookies, snacks, alcohol. Um, people were partaking in extracurricular activities. We had music. We enjoyed each other's company. Like, listen, it was a lit time. It was a lit time. But um, I think pregnant me needs to wait before I do another four hour float down the Chattahoochee. Four hours was just a bit too much for me. But the location that we went to they said that they were going to also start a two hour route as well so um if they open that up anytime soon i would definitely go back again before i deliver um because i enjoy it any of y'all that don't know i'm a pisces so anything dealing with water if it's safe for me to do count your girl in count your girl in i'm all about some water but um yeah four hours was just a little bit much i think it scared him <laughs> I can always tell when he gets scared because he'll stop moving like he's usually active for majority of the day like he you know he loves to communicate with me all throughout the day but if he's scared or if anything is stressing him out he does not move okay so the whole time that um we were out there in the water no uh, he didn't have any idea what was going on. He was in an unfamiliar environment and he was just very, very still. So, um, I didn't feel him until I got home, took a shower, had already got into bed. And then he was like, oh, okay. I know where I'm at now so I can come out and play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'll probably insert a little clip somewhere so y'all can see my big old self out there on the water. And I also have a completely separate, um, video because I know I had quite a few people asking me about that experience. And I also know a lot of my fellow BBWs and just my, um, plus size community in general we always want to know what are some plus size friendly things, fun things that we can do. So tubing is definitely one of those things. So be on the lookout really, really soon for my tubing vlog and, and on that location, I'm just going to do a real quick 5-10 minute video just on just that. 
So um, if any of you all are interested in going to that same location and tubing, you'll have all the information that you need to know about it, okay? All right, but yes, y'all, I went tubing. That was my first time ever in life and I really, really enjoyed it, so. Yeah, you thinking about something fun to do with your family this year or just your homegirls or just even if it's just you and your boo. Y'all can float and gaze into each other's eyes and be a love child. Uh, you know, I don't know. Whatever y'all want to do. That, that was that. And I think the last thing I want to tell y'all about is that um, got some more stuff done for the baby shower. Got some more stuff done. Um, went over and to the venue and took everybody with me that's going to be helping me set up the shower and that whole experience almost went left but um, you know communication is everything communication is everything so um, you know I thought that I was about to have to start all over from scratch looking for a whole nother venue even though I have had this venue set in my head you know talk to this lady already paid half you know um since i think that was either end of february or very beginning of march i've I, it's been months it's been months okay that i have had this location reserved and so i'm not gonna speak on it because like i said all's well ended well um you know she redeemed herself so we're just gonna move forward we're just gonna move on forward and but yeah so did some stuff there at the venue um added some more things that i needed to set up for the shower so i'm just about at the end as far as purchasing decorations and everything else that i need so then next all i have to get is my food and drinks and i'm done done food and drinks and we're done okay we're done oh i meant to show y'all my baby shower invitations hold on hold on hold on so these are my baby shower invitations they just came in um when did they come in yesterday i think so yeah 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 they just arrived yesterday so this is the front of them and then of course the rest of this right here what i'm covering up is the um shower information and then the back of them just looks like this let's see y'all uh, there we go that's the back of them so i love my invitations i think they are really simple and really really cute if y'all want me to um put the link where i ordered my invitations from um i can definitely put that in the description box below and i think it yeah they even sent me matter of fact here it is right here hold on i didn't want to just come out and tell y'all because y'all know i be getting stuff wrong but yeah zazzle is the company that i ordered from so there's a little discount for something on that side and then you got some more little discount on this side. I don't know how many times that code can be used. <laughs> but if y'all need business cards, birthday cards, if you're having your own baby shower, wedding, whatever the case may be, um, this, this particular website, Zazzle, it has a lot of different um, prints to choose from a lot of different prints a lot of different formats and so um but that was just the one that i went with because it was extremely extremely affordable and it still looked really nice so um but yeah whatever theme that you come up with for your event nine times out of ten if you're looking for an invitation to go with it this website is going to have um your theme on their site so yeah that's that and i guess that was it y'all so let me go ahead and give my three youtuber shout outs for this week for y'all to go watch their labor and delivery vlogs i mean do i have them prepped and ready to go of course not of course i don't one of my videos where i told y'all to go watch Lil Natural, I said L-I-L Natural. That's not her name. That's not her name at all. Her name is Lee Natural. 
Hey phone. So um it's L I I natural. I said L I L. It's L I I natural okay so if anybody had paid me any attention on that video and you tried to find her it's because i had a whole letter wrong it's l-i-i -I natural okay so i did owe her that correction but let me tell y'all the three new youtubers for this week so the first shout out for this week goes to the marion makaya I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but you know, I'm finna put the clip up here so y'all will know. We're not doing no more misspelling. We're not doing no more misspelling over here, okay? But how I will pronounce this is the Marion Makaya, all right? Maybe it's Marion Makia. Hmm. Anywho, um, I enjoyed her channel because I watched her baby shower and I also watched her labor and delivery vlog. So, um, yeah, go on over there and check her out. She was very much enjoyable. Yeah, I gotta do better. This, I mean, some stuff don't make no sense. The second shout out I want to give is to Miss Aya Love. Aya love okay and um and I enjoyed her labor and delivery vlog I have not watched anything else that she had on her channel but um her labor and delivery vlog was really nice and she is really really pretty so um yeah I don't know why I had it it kept <laughs> I told y'all YouTube the one that sent me the suggestions so the suggestions that it was sending me they were all like little young girls. So, um, I would love for them to send me, um, you know, people 30 and up. I I'm pretty sure women that's 30 and up vlog their pregnancies as well. So, maybe I need to start putting that in my, in my search. And, and maybe I'll get some older, um women but you know not to take anything away from you young ladies who are out here popping out children and flourishing you know i'm not taking nothing away from y'all it's just that you know like i say when you're going through something you want to see people who are more similar to you so you know me watching all of these young ladies that are 20 years <laughs> younger than me it's just like uh, okay girl but nevertheless they are really really good videos okay so yes definitely go check out those two that i just told y'all so far and then the last one let me see my last shout out for this week is leave her wild leave her wild okay now you know we can't just always celebrate the sisters we got to celebrate our um you know our caucasian friends as well so you know i do watch all different races all different ages all different sizes so i have to share those people with you all as well um so yes leave her wild and, and she does her vlog from um you know it's pretty much from start to finish is how her labor and delivery vlog is set up you know she <laughs> she's I might have she might have started hers like a couple of days before actually going into the hospital so if you're interested in seeing you know how the body functions just days before delivery day then you know leave her wild might be a video that you're interested in you never know until you go over there and look it ain't gonna hurt you and when you get over there with all of these ladies, make sure that you hit a like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you drop down in the comment section and tell them that P. Hope sent you, okay? Well, I told y'all I got some more day in the life vlogs coming y'all way, but I am going to make sure to get that, um, that tubing video up for you guys. That'll probably be my very next vlog, and then after that, we'll go into some more um, day in the life vlogs vlogs okay so that y'all can see which girl been out here doing on a day-to-day -day besides sweating into the oldies in that hot warehouse okay anyway i am going to what am i about to do 
I'm about to eat dinner. I'm about to um eat dinner. Um, my mom made spaghetti. I want me a big glass of ice water to go with it. Like y'all, that's the highlight of my dinner is the ice water. That's 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 how hot I'm, I've been lately. Like yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I know I need to eat, so I'm gonna eat the spaghetti. But it's the ice water for me. So I'm about to eat dinner. Then I'm going to take me a lukewarm shower. And then, yeah, I'm going to lay it down. Find me something on Netflix. And we're going to call it. We're going to call it. Well, I can't call it. Because I got to upload this video to share with my p -Hope family. But anyway, you already know. I want you to be happy, be healthy, be safe. This is your girl, P-Hope. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.